Hi, welcome to Startup Tips and Tricks. Are you a founder that's wondering how to become a unicorn startup? Or you want to begin a startup company but really don't know why those companies, those unicorn startups are priced that high? In this video, I'm going to explain how startups are priced and how you can turn your startup into a unicorn. So just to get the terminology, what is a unicorn? A unicorn is a company that's evaluated more than 1 billion US dollars and has not gone public yet. So to become a unicorn startup, there's mainly three things, very simple, three things you need to consider. Number one, how attractive is this market? Number two, how fast are you growing? And number three, how profitable are you? So point number one, how attractive is this market? So if you're going to start a business, you want to enter a large market or a very fast growing market. Because if the market is not big enough or is not growing, then it will be capped. Even if your company is growing so fast, it will be capped on the market size. So choosing the market is really, really important because you can do the same thing. You can be profitable, growing really fast, but if the market's small, your company will be capped. It won't grow bigger than the market itself. So you want to find a market that is attractive. Point number two, growth. You want to have a startup that's growing really fast, neck breaking speed. If you look at all the companies that have become unicorns, you can see how fast they've grown. Before you go on, just one thing I want to ask. Please like and subscribe to this channel. If you subscribe to this channel and like this video, you'll be getting more contents around startups. So to let YouTube algorithm understand that you like startups and you're interested in topics around startups, please subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up to this video. Also, I have tons of contents uh, around startups. So just, you know, to bookmark it. If you subscribe, it will be easier to find these videos. And lastly, number three, profitability. You want to be profitable. So a lot of SaaS companies, software as a service companies have become unicorns. Why SaaS companies can become unicorns is that for software companies, the raw material, the cogs involved in that business is very low. So there's of course a lot of like marketing and sales necessary, but the cogs are very low. So the, the gross margins are really high. So combining these three, you understand that the investors, they look at startups and they don't look at their present state. They look at their future state. How much potential does this startup have? If the market's huge and they're growing enormously and also they're really profitable or they will be profitable, there's a huge opportunity here and therefore they will price it higher. Whereas if the market's capped, there's not much future space for the company to grow or if they're going really slowly, the revenues would probably not be not changed that much over the years. Or if the profit is very low, whatever future revenue they're going to produce, the free cash flow portion of that is going to be still small. So investors are betting in the future. They want to know how big, how good this business is going to be going forward. So focus on the three points. A lot of startups miss out on the first point. They don't understand the market. They just pick a market that they think is exciting, interesting but they don't do their math, they don't do their homework of assessing how big the market is and how the market will change. It's, is it going to grow or is it actually going to shrink? So if you enter a unattractive market, whatever you do, it's very hard to become a unicorn. So choosing the right market is really important. 
So the question is, how do you price a startup? You're talking about the future. How can you predict the future? The answer is like actually nobody can, but we give assumptions and we want to prove that our assumptions are correct. We want to convince the investors and stakeholders that our assumptions are not that far off. What a lot of people do is they pull out examples. Let's say again, let's say you're a SaaS company. You would try to find SaaS companies in the past that you can relate to. Maybe entering a certain similar market, maybe having a similar growth rate and like profitability. You can say that the multiples that they use, multiples is like revenue, how much times is the company valued uh, compared to their revenue. Maybe it's like four times, 10 times. That is a multiple. How is that unicorn start value? What multiple uh, are they using to value that? And if the, your company, if your startup is similar to that unicorn, you can say that you can use the same multiple. Now the whole th story, we call this, we call this equity story. So building your equity story is really important to convince your investors, to convince your stakeholders. But of course it has to be true. Let's say you choose an example and say, we are similar to this company, but actually you aren't. Like you're not in the same market. Let's say you're just targeting Canada and not the whole world, you know, or you are not a SaaS company to begin with. Uh, the story does not hold anymore. So you want to find something that your company can relate to. Also, when you're creating this equity story, you're projecting the future. You'll say, we will have revenue this much. Uh, we will be entering you know, countries uh, by year XX, uh, and we will be you know, providing the service worldwide. The growth is supported of your strategy of how your business is going to expand. If you go forward and you cannot follow the story that you've built, you will be in trouble you will not be able to explain why your company should be priced this high. This is called a down route. Let's, let's say for seed, like you were valued for 50 million, but moving forward in series A, because your revenues have not grown at all, your story does not, does not hold. Therefore, your valuation uh, goes down 20 million or whatnot um, because you're not you have improved your story. You haven't followed your story. The story does not, the equity story that you've built is, does not hold anymore. To sum it up, if you're going to start a startup, figure out these three points. Find a good market to begin with. Find a good market that you should enter and figure out a model that grows really fast and that is really profitable. And with that, figure out your equity story. Are you a SaaS company or can you relate to a SaaS company or any other unicorns? If you can, you can create your equity story. You need some theory to back up how much you should be priced. Just one minor point, but if you're really starting, but if you're just starting from scratch, don't think too much about your valuation. Recently for seed or pre-seed, uh, angel investing and whatnot, like early stages, uh, people don't evaluate your company. You should kind of figure out your equity story, but the pricing will be passed on to Series A or like later stage, uh, once you have revenue. Because before you have revenue, it's really hard to calculate how much your company should be priced. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was useful. Uh, if so, again, thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I have plenty of other contents uh, in my channel. And if there's anything that you want me to talk about or any comments, please write in the comment section. I'll be reading all that and we'll be answering your questions. So please write and I'll be producing videos if you have any requests. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.